What's up guys, I wanted to show them this quick little video, it's my second video for today. You guys are lucky you get to see me twice in one day. If you'd like to check out the video I did earlier today, uh, there's a link you can click right here or there's one in the video description to the right. And that was a demo of the 3.0 iPhone software, I give you a rundown of everything that's in it and stuff like that, so you may want to go check that out. But the point of this video, let me explain a little bit. Um, so you guys know that the 3.0 firmware was announced by Apple on March 17th. And, uh, of course, since developers got it, um, and it's not released to the public yet, it'll be released to the public sometime in June, uh, it got leaked onto the internet. So, the 3.0 firmware for all the devices has been leaked on the internet, and people are going to download the firmwares, and then they're going in iTunes, and they're doing a shift restore, like holding the shift key and restoring, and then they'll restore to that 3.0 firmware. And then once it's done restoring, they can't do anything with their iPhone or iPod because you have to have an Apple developer account, a paid one, which is $99 minimum, to activate your iPhone through iTunes once you own the 3.0 firmware. So what I wanted to do is make this little quick tip kind of video thing to tell you guys, the people that already have downloaded a 3.0 firmware and accidentally restored to it because they didn't know what they were doing and they were just anxious to get it, and now you can't do anything with your iPod. And also, if you like to download the 3.0 firmware now and you just can't wait, you can use this to activate the 3.0 firmware, but you're going to have to find the downloads yourself, guys. I'm not going to give you some links to some firmwares that haven't even been released yet, uh, so you guys are going to have to go find, search around on Google, you can find it. And two things to know, the jailbreak is not released for the 3.0 firmware yet. If you upgrade, you will not have a jailbreak for a while, maybe. Just depends on how long the program takes to get out. Another thing, a really, really, really important thing for iPhone 3G users, if you have an iPhone 3G and you are unlocked with yellow snow, do not update. Do not update your unlocked iPhone 3G if you have yellow snow. Just wait until the dev team has some word on this. Just keep checking in on the dev team site, ties.com, and we'll keep you guys up to date. So that being said, you're not going to have a jailbreak and you cannot upgrade your iPhone 3G if you're unlocked with yellow snow. Let's get on with this. It's a simple little bypass for the 3.0 firmware if you want to activate it. Um, if you have already downloaded the 3.0 firmware to your computer or you've already downloaded it and already restored, uh, what you're going to do if you've downloaded it, you're going to go in iTunes, you have the firmware saved to your desktop, plug up your iPod, hold down the shift key on your computer and click the restore button on iTunes. What that's going to do is give you a little option to browse for a firmware file. You'll just select your 3.0 firmware file for your device, and then you'll restore to it and let it finish that up. Once it's done restoring, or if you already have restored to it, to bypass the little thing that says you need an Apple developer account to do this, what you're going to do is disconnect your computer from the internet. You can either turn off your router, um, or you can just disconnect your computer from the internet and then let it sync up with iTunes. Now note, you will have to do this every time. You will have to disconnect your computer from the internet to sync it up with iTunes. So you may not want to do that. If you don't want to do that, or you don't want to lose a jailbreak, then I definitely don't recommend you do this. And you will have to disconnect from the internet every time you sync up your iPod. So that's something you guys are going to have to do on your own. I just wanted to post this video to help you guys out that already have accidentally upgraded and don't know what to do. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Uh, please rate five stars if you enjoyed this. I don't know how this could be enjoyable. And I'll see you guys uh, with another video soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit ties iPhonehelp.com. <sighs>